Geneva Motor Show 2017 Preview The Geneva Motor Show isn't until March 9, but we've already got a raft of confirmed entries. Get an early look here. The Geneva Motor Show is one of the largest and most prestigious in the motoring calendar, and often plays host to the debuts of the world's finest supercars. This year's show is no different, and despite being weeks away, we've got an early list of many of the star cars from the show. Take a look below to see what's Geneva bound this year. Geneva Motor Show 2017 The Cars Ferrari F12M Ferrari's replacement for the F12, the F12M, is the first of the supercars to be revealed at Geneva in March. We've only seen it testing under heavy disguise, so we'll see the full visual of the car at the show. Power is expected to creep closer to the F12 TDF 769 BHP. Jaguar XF Sport Brake Jaguar confirmed its XF Sport Brake estate at the Paris Motor Show with an image of the car in testing prototype guys. It'll share engines with the standard XF, meaning a 2.0-liter diesel and 3.0-liter V6 petrol and diesel engines will make up the engine range. It's unlikely to get an XFR Sport Brake variant to rival the Mercedes-AMG E63S estate, though. Kia Picanto We've already seen the Picanto, Kia revealed it ahead of even the Detroit Motor Show. The smallest Kia gets a fresh new look, more upmarket interior and updated technology and safety features. A sporty GT line trim also features, but a full fat GT isn't coming off the back of it. Land Rover Range Rover Coupe Land Rover's first new niche since the extended wheelbase Range Rover, the coupe as the name suggests will take away some of the practicality of its standard SUV sibling in exchange for some visual drama. True to form, Land Rover officials are keeping the model under close wraps until Geneva. Lamborghini Huracan Performant Lamborghini's lightweight Huracan variant no longer called Super Legra if patent files are to be believed, will be at Geneva, and it's believed to be making its appearance in both Coupe and Spider variants. The significant weight reduction should push the car's top speed up, and its 0 to 62 miles per hour time down. McLaren P14 McLaren will show the replacement for the 650's codenamed P14 at Geneva. It'll get an evolutionary new look and will likely get a great deal more power. McLaren titillated us by revealing the car's carbon fiber monocoque ahead of the show, but it's unlikely we'll see any more of the car officially until then. Pagani Huayra Roadster Pagani confirmed the Huayra Roadster's place at the Geneva Motor Show this year with two preview images showing fragments of the car. The hardtop Huayra is powered by Pagani's bespoke 6.0-liter twin-turbo V12, producing 730 bhp and 738 pounds-foot, and it's very likely that the Huayra Roadster will share this engine in unaltered form. It'll build on its 666,000 pounds price tag, though. Porsche 911 GT3 facelift. It's been spotted testing numerous times, but Geneva will be the show at which we finally officially see the 911 GT3 in facelift form. The car will gain the option of a manual gearbox, but will retain the 3.8 liter engine of the current GT3, without the aid of turbocharging. Seat Arona. We'll get our first full look at the eagerly awaited Seat Arona small SUV at the Geneva Motor Show, before it goes on sale in December. Seat says that the Arona is one of the most important models it'll build, so is hoping that it'll emulate the success of the Ateca. The Ibiza, on which the Arona is based, will arrive first, though. Suzuki Swift Numerous leaks lead up to the Swift's Japanese reveal at the end of 2016, but its motor show debut comes at Geneva, where the European Spec Super Mini will be revealed. A hybrid powertrain is amongst the options expected to make it to Europe. Tech Rules GT96 Chinese EV company Tech Rules first previewed its innovative turbine recharging EV at last year's Geneva show, 
but the production-ready version will officially be revealed in March. The power output for the concept was mooted at 1030 bhp, with 0 to 60 miles per hour coming in 2.5 sec and a 217 miles per hour top speed. 93 miles of electric only range was also claimed, as was the more impressive 1200 miles of total range. Toyota Yaris Hot Hatch The Yaris Hot Hatch hasn't been named yet, but it's rumored to be named after Toyota's Gazoo Motorsport outfit. It's been revealed already, but it'll get the full Geneva Motor Show reveal treatment in March, before going on sale later this year. It's already confirmed to have more than 210 bhp, meaning it'll take the small hot hatch segment up a few horsepower. Volvo XC60 Volvo has withdrawn from all but three motor shows in the calendar, so the Geneva Motor Show is the most likely recipient of the new XC60 small SUV. We've spotted it testing, and the car's new disguise is likely to draw quite heavily from its XC90 sibling, but Geneva will be the first time we see it in full if Volvo doesn't choose to reveal it beforehand. Volkswagen Arteon Volkswagen's replacement for the CC, moves another step away from its Passat variant roots with a new name but the same coupe-like styling, and since the death of the Phaeton, will be the most expensive saloon in the VW range. We've already driven an early prototype, and there are whisperings of a shooting brake variant too. Volkswagen T-Rock Volkswagen's small SUV has been a long time coming the Nissan Juke has been around since 2010, so Volkswagen has had seven years to get its offering into the segment right. It'll be revealed in Geneva, and is most likely to draw inspiration from the T-Rock concept first seen at the Geneva show back in 2014. A lot has changed since then, so the car may be quite different to its concept precursor.